warm welcome once again to the fourth annual Bosnian Festival and Youth Conference. We are truly honored to have such a distinguished audience present at our event. Before I introduce a, a few of our guest speakers, please rise with me, with me as we play the national anthems of Canada and Bosnia and Herzegovina. the president of the Bosnian and Herzegovinian Center of Vancouver to share a few words with us. Hello everyone. I know that Bosnians, we don't like long speeches, so when you have somebody on the, on the stage, they usually look how many pages you get. And of course, I, won't be alone. I don't want to be alone on stage. Before my official speech, I would like to call on stage uh, four special we say Canadian growth and Bosnian roots. Special kids, special youth, special young Canadians to join me on the stage. Uh, last, last year was a Miss Canada contest, if you, if you watch on TV. And we are very proud, even as a British Columbians, to have one girl between 16 most beautiful girls in Canada. And 
she happens to be Bosnian. Can you believe it? Anna Vehabovic. I don't want to spoil her beautiful look, so let's move this. Okay, Anna. One, uh, one month ago, we had BC Provincial Junior Basketball and uh, one young boy happens to be Bosnian as well, born in Canada, born in Burnaby. He was MVP and probably one of the most prominent uh, basketball player, young basketball player in Canada, Kenan Krupic. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't want to come over to join his dad on his left side. He's the youngest player ever to get offered from SFU, full scholarship. Kenan. Oh, Kenan, he's here. Isn't he handsome? Okay. Uh, third boy is uh, BC, uh, actually, uh, Burnaby Select uh, hockey player. Edwin Hasakovic. And one handsome and a big fella, Canadian national rugby team player, Admir Cevanovic. So, Mr. Mayor, you're going to be very secure here on the stage. Okay, now my speeches. Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, dear friends, on behalf of the Bosnian Canadian community in British Columbia, I welcome you all to the fourth annual Bosnian Festival. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your presence and your support of this festival and our Bosnian Herzegovian community here in British Columbia. Organize a Bosnian Canadian festival that will be over time became an annual event that will not only bring Bosnian Canadian community together, but that it will become an event that will build the bridges and cooperations with other communities. Today, just four years later, we are seeing that our dream is becoming a reality and we are proud of it. We are truly blessed to have many friends who have been actively supporting us and encouraging us from day one. I would like to take a moment to recognize some of the distinguished guests who have honored us with their presence at this event. Dear friends, please join me in welcoming our representatives in Ottawa, the Honorable Peter Julian. Member of Parliament for Burnaby and New Westminster. Hi, hi. Mr. Peter Julian was also with us all these years. And he was the first uh, uh, speaker and he opened the first Bosnian festival four years ago. Thank you, Mr. Julian. We like to welcome the Honorable Kennedy Stewart. <laughs> Member of Parliament of Burnaby and Douglas. <laughs> Dear friends, from day one, we opened the doors of our Bosnian community centers. We had the guidance and encouragement from our provincial representatives in Victoria, BC. It is a pleasure to welcome Mr. Raj Johan. MLA from Burnaby Edmonds. Mrs. Kathy Corrigan. MLA from Burnaby and Deer Lake. So, uh, just one, one information. You have uh, Mr. Joan and, and Mrs. Corrigan offices very close by. So if you see that nobody is there, go there and ask something. <laughs> and they're gonna they're gonna answer you for sure. Thank you, thank you. 
We are honored by the presence of members of the Consular Corps in DC. I'm pleased to welcome Dr. Mohammed Tariq, Consul General of Pakistan. <laughs> Mr. Maud Adli bin Abdullah, Consul General of Malaysia. <laughs> and Mr. Bertram Dickness Liefel, Deputy Consul General of Germania. Yesterday was a special day for all Bosnians, all over the world. 22nd May. The Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina was admitted as a member of the United Nations on May 22nd, 1992. May 22nd, 2015 was proclaimed as a day of Bosnia and Herzegovina in the city of Bernabeu. Our sincere appreciation goes to His Worship, Mr. Derek Corrigan, Mayor of the City of Burnaby. We thank you, Mr. Mayor, for, his, for your support of Bosnian festivals from its beginning. Dear friends, please allow me to welcome few guests who travel from, from the States to Vancouver to attend our festival. I would like to extend a warm welcome to Anesa Kajtazovic from Iowa. Anesa is beautiful and young. We are so proud of Anesa. She achieved a lot of things at age of only 23. Ms. Kajtazovic is former state representative of state, uh, state of Iowa, representing the first, 61st district from 2011 to 2015. First elected at age of 23, can you believe it? Big hand. Kartazovic is the youngest woman ever elected to the Iowa legislature. And the first Bosnian American member of the provincial government, we say, in Canada. Anessa's story is, is truly inspirational. She makes us all proud and we wish her success in her future, future bid for U.S. Congress. <laughs> Among us today are Dr. Asaid Boshkalio and his wife Aisha, who came earlier today all the way from Phoenix, Arizona. to attend our festival. Dr. Goshkailo is the president of the Bosnian American Academy of Arts and Science, an institution who aims to promote spirit and intellectual diversity and free exchange of ideas among the diaspora in the belief that knowledge is shareable wealth. Thank you, Mr. Goshkailo, for coming in. Earlier today we had our first youth conference that was prepared and delivered by our friends from Seattle, Washington. I would like to sincerely thank Mr. Irfan Mirza, principal architect of Microsoft, for initiating and organizing not only the youth conference, but also many other aspects of this festival as, as well. Mr. Irfan Mirza. Without the energy and enthusiasm of the voice of Bosnian genocide, led by their president, Mr. Mirza, Mirza Velegat, uh, Vele, uh, sorry, Mr. Mirza Velagic, today festival would be not completed. Thank you, Mirza, for coming. They are from Seattle, Washington. And we have uh, some guests from Spokane as well. I promised them last night to mention. Thank you for coming, Spokane. Dear ladies and gentlemen, this festival would not, uh, would, would not have happened without our friends from other communities whose folklore groups have enriched our event. Please join me in expressing our sincere appreciation to the following folklore groups. Bulgaria. Greece. Viva Mexico. Turkey, 
and our Bosnian friends from Seattle, USA, Sebda and Dinian. Today, today's event was made possible by generous contribution from our sponsors, Scotia Bank of Canada, Cevat Bicic from Lime Painting, Saibo Talic European Football School, Isam Memišević Denturist, Samir Zukanović, Mehmet Hasaković, Design and Finishing, Cruz Design LTD, and Rudy Dedic from Dominion Landing Center. Rudy Dedic is a big guy, 6'7", so if you go there, you're gonna get approved for any loan. <laughs> this big fella. Last but not the least, on behalf of the organizing committee of this festival, I would like to thank all volunteers. I'm talking about Bosnian community members, who have spent countless hours preparing many aspects of today's program. But this is also an opportunity to recognize our all volunteers who are spending countless hours all year long organizing events that keep our community strong and active. Please join me in recognizing the staff of the Weekend Bosnian Language School, leadership and participant of the Bosnian Focal Groups, Zlatni Ljeljeni, Bosnian Sport Association, Soccer Clubs, Sarajevo and Bosnia, and finally our Youth Clubs and Women's Chapter. All of them are true ambassadors of our community and the guardians of our cultural and tradition in this part of the world. Short story, yeah, they, they deserve big hands. Short story on Bosnian roots. Short story on Bosnian roots and Canadian growth. Another possibility is tell the story right after the second paragraph that talked about our goals and aspiration. Once again, thank you all you for coming and for continuing to support of our community and our festival. Thank you. Yes, I, I must be master of ceremony. <laughs> Mr. Derek Corrigan, Mayor of Bourbon City. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. I greatly appreciate this opportunity to bring greetings on behalf of the City of Burnaby, on behalf of uh, all of our staff, the members of Council, but particularly on, on behalf of all of the citizens in our community who appreciate so much a festival like this occurring in part of our city. I, uh, I want to uh, also especially thank the Consul Generals for being here. I know that uh, it's a tremendously busy schedule and to pay attention to small events like this that show a brotherhood among people in our community is really important. So thank you Consul Generals for being here with us today. Um, I uh, wanted to tell you Mr. Kupic also that uh, I find it absolutely unbelievable that in the Bosnian culture you can get uh, your son up right beside you on stage and uh, tell everybody how proud you are of them. If I would have done that to one of my sons, he would still be moving towards the border for Alberta. So I, uh, I appreciate the fact you've taken this in good spirit and good humor. In getting together, scraping together some money in order to put it on and inviting the community to come out and, and feel good about themselves and feel good about their history and their culture and their heritage and to celebrate the fact that they're all here together in Canada. And it's because of those volunteers, Mr. Krupic and the people that he's gathered around, that this festival continues to be, uh, I think, a, a growing, important part of the city of Burnaby. And uh, we are proud to contribute to it and to proclaim Bosnia-Herzegovina Day and uh, we continue to be very proud of the diverse community that makes Burnaby such a wonderful place to live. Bringing people together to not only to celebrate our differences, but also to work together to assure that we make a better community for all of us is such an important part of my vision for the city of Burnaby and the work that our members of parliament and our MLAs do. So on behalf of the city of Burnaby, we hope you have a wonderful time today. We appreciate everything you do each and every day to make our community better. And we're so glad that you're able to have young talent like this coming up to make all Canadians feel proud. Thank you very much.
Thank you so much for your kind words. And I would now like to invite Mr. Raj Chohan, the member of the Re Legislative Assembly for Burnaby Edmonds, who will also share a few words with us. Lutrabo. I'm really honored to be here. You know, this is the fourth year of celebration of Bosnian community. When we have festivals like this, as our mayor has said, we are not only celebrating that particular community, we are celebrating the brotherhood, the whole community. In Burnaby, we speak more than 100 different languages. And Bosnian community has made a huge contribution, especially to Burnaby Edmonds by opening your office right in my constituency. I also want to say thank you for bringing the delegation to Victoria a couple of months ago. The Bosnian community came there and they not only came and visited us, they also performed in front of the legislature there. That was a wonderful contribution. That was great. So on behalf of the Legislative Assembly and our leader, John Horgan, I bring greetings as well. Dr. Jane Shen, she was supposed to be here, but she could not make it. And Katie Corrigan, she's going to speak next, and she's here. We are all very proud of this community. We bring greetings. We would like to continue to be part of these celebrations for years to come. Congratulations. Hawala. Thank you, Mr. Chohan, for your kind address. I would now like to invite, invite Mrs. Corrigan to share a few words with us. Well, thank you, Nihab. Thank you very much, and it's so great to see so many people here today, and thank you for having another festival. It's a, it's a wonderful event that I look forward to. Um, the mayor, uh, Mr. Corrigan, usually takes credit for having responsibility for providing the weather, but I see that we don't know where it's going, so he kept quiet on that subject. <laughs> um, I... Uh, I am I'm so pleased to see so many people here and I'm particularly pleased to see how many young children there are here because um, it is a, it's a courageous thing for people to make the decision that they're going to move, sometimes not voluntarily, but to come to a new country, to live in a new country. Uh, and and the, the parents who come here, those that come here, they remember uh, their traditions and they remember their country with, with great fondness. Uh, um, but the kids, the kids don't. And I think it's wonderful to have so many children here listening to that most stirring, dramatic national anthem, sharing in the food, the camaraderie, the language, and their traditions, and, and seeing the pride that their families have about their background. So that's the bridge to the future, uh, and I think it's a really important one. And not only that, it's lots of fun, and there's lots of good food to eat. So thank you for again organizing this. It's a, it's a wonderful event, and uh, I look forward to getting out there and having a look around yet again. Thanks very much. Thank you for your kind words. Dear friends, I would now like to invite the Honorable Kennedy Stewart, Member of the Parliament for Burnaby Douglas. Thank you very much. It's a great pleasure to be here this afternoon. And what a wonderful day. Is everybody having a good time today? Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, Rudy, uh, bring you greetings from uh, Tom Mulcair, the official opposition leader, uh, who's in Ottawa. Peter and I are flying back there tomorrow, so we'll definitely spread the word about what a great time you're all having here today. Uh, today in the audience we have a number of consuls general, and uh, I remember when I first became an MP, I sat down with a brand new uh, consul, I won't say what country he's from, but he asked me about how does Canada work? How does it work? You have so many different people here. As Raj said, we have a hundred different languages in Burnaby. We have many, many different ancestries here. And he said, does Canada work because you tolerate other people? I said, no, that's not it. It's not because we tolerate other people. He said, well, is it because you accept other people? I said, that's not quite it either, Mr. Consul General. What we do here in Canada is we celebrate one another. And that's really what we're doing here. We're celebrating a fantastic culture that adds so much to who we are as Canadians. 
I'd like to thank you very much for having me here today, and I look forward to trying some of the lamb I heard about earlier. So thank you. Thank you, Honorable Stewart, for your remarks. Dear ladies and gentlemen, I would now like to invite the Honorable Peter Julian, Member of Parliament for Burnaby, New Westland, Minister. Zidravo. Uh, we have, I, I believe, people from across, uh, outside of British Columbia, from across Canada and from the United States. If you've come from outside British Columbia to attend this event, could you raise your hands, please? Dubardashti. Uh, please w welcome to British Columbia and welcome to this important festival. And we know Bosnia and Herzegovina are it's a relatively small country, but has had a, a profound impact uh, right around the world. And its vision of tolerance and independence and freedom is something that has served as an example to peoples around the world. This is very true. It's also come, the fight for independence and freedom has come at a terrible cost. And that's been acknowledged. Uh, Kennedy and I were in the House of Commons uh, 10 days ago when a member of Parliament, Brian Massey from Windsor West, uh, representing the NDP, stood up and moved a motion to commemorate the victims of Srebrenica. Normally, when a motion is moved in the House of Commons, uh, it is very rare that it receives support from everyone in the House of Commons, but all 300 members rose up and that motion passed unanimously. And that was Canadian members of Parliament saying that the terrible costs that Bosnia and Herzegovina paid should never be paid again by any people at any time, anywhere in the world. And the Bosnian community in Canada is a relatively small community, but a community that is growing that also has a large vision in this country. And we've seen this over the last four years as the Bosnian festival has continued to grow. We see that when we see the incredible talent of the generation that is coming up now. Uh, Bosnian, uh, Bosnian roots uh, who have basically flourished in Canada and are making a fundamental and important contribution to Canada. It's quite remarkable to see the growth and the depth of the contribution of Bosnians to Canada. And so on behalf of the Parliament of Canada, I too would like to say Havala. Thank you so much for the contributions that, that Canadians of Bosnian origin are making each and every day in Canada. And enjoy this important festival. Enjoy the day. And according to Bosnian tradition, we have some gifts from our honorable, uh, for uh, our honorable guests. Uh, one gift is a uh, certificate of recognition and the another gift is third, uh, third country, a book from Faro Knanic, who is also present here today. He came over from Portland. And we have one more, one more pride. Mrs. Tanya Hodzic, member of uh, national uh, Canadian volleyball team. Please, Tanya, come over. So, each of you, you're gonna take uh, one gift and... Uh, okay. Okay. Mr. Peter Julian. Mr. Raj Johan. Mr. Kennedy Stewart. Unfortunately, Jane G is not, is not here. And look at this big fella. Supposed to give her a gift. <laughs> okay, thank you. So we're gonna stay here, Admin. Uh, Mrs. Anessa Kajtazovic. Can you come over, Anessa, please? Look at these pretty girls. Look at these. Oh, wow. 